What's up guys, Jay Vincent here, Bio for Personal Training. Um, I'd like to address a question that I get a lot, and that is, why is it that advocates, instructors, or people creating content on high intensity training, why is it that they don't possess what you would consider impressive physiques, even though I believe a lot of them do, um, or physiques like mine? And the reason is genetics, all right? So a lot of the people with great muscle building genetics or bodybuilding genetics, anything they do, they're gonna develop an impressive physique. Um, they could flip rocks, they could climb trees, they could do CrossFit, bodybuilder routine, you name it, they're gonna generally develop an impressive physique. So they're far less likely to put in the time to research different protocols and stumble across high intensity training. My story is, you know, when I was you know, pursuing a career in fitness modeling, uh, the agency told me I had to put on more muscle, more, more mass in order to be marketable in book, book uh, modeling gigs. So I was about 190 pounds at the time, close to 5'11", single digit body fat. Yeah, for fitness modeling, that's generally too small. So I had to put on uh, you know, more weight, more muscle. So I started doing the research Stumbled across high intensity training, stumbled across a seminar, a seminar by uh, Dr. Doug McGuff, and it just clicked, it made sense. And from there on out, I did countless hours of research, read by the bioscience, et cetera, started applying high intensity principles. Granted, I do not do the big five. Remember, that is a starting point. Doug makes that a, a point in his book, but a lot of people skip over it. The big five is not the end all be all of high intensity training, it's a starting point. Um, so I started implementing those principles. And within about four months or so, I put on about 10, uh, about four to five months, put on about 10 pounds of muscle. I was, you know, over 200. A lot of people asked me what I was doing. Started teaching high intensity training principles. Here we are today. Um, so that's my story. And the reason why, you know, a lot of individuals who instruct high intensity training um, don't possess these great physiques, it's simply genetics. I mean, if you don't have the genetic predispositions, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter, you know, if you do Arnold's routine or Mentor's routine or uh, Kai Green's routine, you're not going to de develop a physique similar to them without similar genetics. Uh, so it's not the training protocol that is responsible for you know, why you don't necessarily possess this great physique. It's your genetics. Um, even with the right diet, supplements, anabolic steroids, etc., it's really it's not going to make a difference. So um, I happen to be lucky to stumble across this. Uh, currently, I still do workout once every seven to eight days, very difficult full body workout. Um, but for most average Joes, this is probably the way you're gonna to wanna to train. Don't get it in your mind that, oh, because you have average genetics or because you're natural. That's why you need to do you know, the bodybuilder routine. It's actually the inverse is true of that. The polar opposite of that is true. Because you have average genetics, you're probably gonna need more recovery time. And a bodybuilder-like routine is not gonna work for you. Remember, these guys have great genetics and they're usually on steroids as bodybuilders, so they can recover very quickly. Uh, most average people, they're gonna only wanna train a couple times a week with you know, a handful of exercises, relatively low volume to see results. Um, so that's what I do um, in conjunction with good genetics, and the result is my physique. Right now I'm about, uh, again, close to 5'11", 205 to 210 pounds. But again, I've been like this my entire life. Um, I've always had very muscular physique. I recall a story when I was about 14 years old, I was in an orthopedic doctor's office, and the doctor looked at me and said, wow, you look like a middleweight. So I was 14 years old at the time, and I was already you know, well-developed. Um, so keep that in mind, genetics play a huge role. The reason a lot of people are not stumbling across that is because they don't need to. Anything they do is gonna work for them. But I think for the average Joe, and for most people, the high-intensive training approach is going to be the best mostly because it's the most time efficient and the safest, and it's also pretty damn effective. So if you guys have any other questions, go ahead and shoot them in the comments. I'll try to answer them in the comment section or create a video on it. Again, always happy to help. Jay Vincent, Powerful Personal Training.